Hey, what's up guys? This is Felix from Giant Lifestyle. So in this video, I want to talk about my five biggest pet peeves that I see at the gym. I go to a pretty franchise gym, so you see all types of crazy shit. But I think because I have been lifting for almost 18 months and I've been seeing some really good results, I'm going to switch to a more serious weightlifting gym coming soon so I can, you know, network and be around other serious lifters and I can make more progress and I can form... Um, uh, a great um, you know health and fitness network but anyway the number one thing that grinds my gears is ego lifters people who have terrible form and try to lift way more weight than they possibly can when I first started lifting I couldn't even bench a hundred pounds I couldn't even squat like just the bar I was super weak because of my ectomorph body frame I'm six foot six um, but now I've gotten pretty much all of my compound movements up to around 80, 185, between 165 and 185. And I just started a new workout program that I feel like it's gonna really help me break all my plateaus. I can't stand eagle lifters. If you wanna squat and you know try and move like 400 pounds, just work on good form and work really hard and eventually you'll get there. You always see people trying to lift way more, like crazy amount of weight than they really know they can and their form is total shit. Number two, out of shape trainers. You always see out of shape trainers trying to train people who either have no idea what they're doing in the gym or either trying to train some intermediate people they think they know what they're doing and I always see people who guys who are showing guys um, skinny guys showing other skinny guys how to get jacked how the fuck can you teach me how to gain muscle if you haven't gained muscle or you'll see some fat lady teaching older women how to drop pounds or how to get in shape if you haven't done it, why would I listen to you? Number three, people with no game plan. You always see either a fat person or you know a, a, a girl with you know a, a skinny tight body with a beautiful face and you'll see her running on the treadmill and then you'll see the fat per the, the overweight person lifting weights and on the squat rack. I just just makes me it really just makes me cringe when you see a beautiful chick who you know doesn't have a fat ass and she's on the treadmill when you know she should be on the squat rack because you know she's going to the gym because she wants to look good and you know me personally I just don't like a female that's too skinny it's just not very attractive and I feel like you know if females were to you know be on the would were to be on the squat rack when you know really improving their their um their body then you know they'd probably get the the more looks than they they really wanted number four gym etiquette why the fuck do people go to the gym and work out in dress pants dress shoes and collared shirts why the hell do people work out in the dumbest attire or they leave all the weights on the machine or they don't dis deload the the squat rack or the bench the bench press uh, the bench rack why do you do that or I seen this guy the other day he we were on the um, I was doing flat bench press and he was putting his phone on the, the bench I was about to do and he was using another bench just put the bench the, the, your phone on the floor no one's gonna steal your phone people are just idiots in the gym and it's like they've never been there before or even people that I have see even people I see that go there often they work out in business attire it makes no sense to me number five having proper hygiene one thing I can't stand is people who either have body odor or they wear too much perfume or cologne there's really no necess no reason to wear perfume or cologne when going to the gym and you know it's really important that before you go to the gym you you do either have the odor on or take a shower I always take a shower before the gym because that's just something that I do right when I wake up in the morning even though some people might say well you're going to the gym to sweat which I understand but I just do it anyway because you know going to the gym fresh and showered up always feels good but don't go to the gym if you just don't have you know proper hygiene and there's no reason to wear a full body of cologne or perfume to the gym. So that's my five pet peeves that really kind of grind my gears at the gym. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.